Hi, good morning, everyone. This is Deborah. This is Vlogmas 12. In the last three days, I've been so rattled with everything you have to do at the holidays that I forgot which video was what, and I apologize. Uh, I haven't been doing the advent calendar because I got all messed up, but I am on number 12, and here is number 12. And guess what? I got it out before I filmed this. This is probably one of the best concealers. Sorry about that. I just got a call. So, yes, this concealer is wonderful, amazing concealer. In fact, let me see if it's medium. I think it is. Oh, let me put my glasses on. Ah, well... God, it's so daggone small, you can't see it. Well, whatever, the best test is just to put it on your finger, right? Let's just do that. Uh, oh, too much came out. Um, I'll have to give that away, because I don't have a tan. Or maybe I should just save it for when I do have a tan, because that is a little dark. Of course, I have nothing to wipe my hands off of. And I'm not going to use my blanket. But I wanted to thank one of my subscribers for this card. I love a Christmas card with sparkles. Thank you so much. No, I love Christmas and I love Christmas cards. You know, just, just spending a couple dollars may make somebody's day. And this person, uh, I think, am I? Is that Minnesota or is that Mississippi? Well, looks like it's Robert. Robert, I won't give out his last name, but uh, I think it's Clinton. No, I think it's M-I. I don't know what that code is. I need to research that, but thank you, Robert. Thank you. So I canceled my date for Saturday because I need three straight days to cook or to About bake. That. Got another call. Oh God, I am very popular today, I guess. Um, this vest is from Chico's and these earrings are brush gold from Cato, but it's time to show you the paperweights. I think I planted them six days ago. If you go back and look at my vlogmas, they are already budding out. I kid you not. And when they start budding out, the smell is just glorious. And then I put it next to my bed. But they need the sun. Yeah, they need the sun. And they can just grow in water too, but I like to put them in soil. So, what shall we talk about today? Yeah, I'm going to do a Bob Ross picture with my daughter. And he's the guy with the afro with the squirrel. And he does the wet on wet painting. And I do have three easels. And we are going to paint. It takes, I can take anybody and show them his technique. And they can paint a picture that is good enough to put in a lawyer's office because I've done it before. I even taught my own husband. Uh, he did a picture and his mother cussed him out, said, oh, you didn't do this. Your wife did it. And he says, no, mom, she did her own. I did this. I, I don't know if I'm a great instructor or if, I don't know if Bob Ross's technique is just universal and anybody can uh, do these pictures but if any of those Bob Ross people come into your town they usually come to Michael's take the class it's like $50 you get you get the paint and you get the poster board take it you you will have a ball I promise you and you can't go wrong there's no mistakes uh, like Bob Ross says if you make a mistake on the tree turn it into a fence or something else you know because you can just correct it immediately. It's not like regular oil painting because Bob Ross has his own line of paints and it's a little bit wetter. So you don't attempt to do Bob Ross's techniques with regular oil paint. You, it will not be successful. 
So I've interrupted you guys enough. So I got my Santas out. I have Santas that are over 60 years old. My granddaughter got them all out for me. And uh, so I got a really busy weekend. Oh my God. Yes, oh, good news. The town all of a sudden fixed their computer glitch. Actually, it was because they were getting a new system and they needed to train the people how to use it. Well, that same scenario is going on with my job. So I had great empathy. So they told me to come by today and pick up the check. So I will, that's a good, that's a good start to the holidays. So I hope you are watching other YouTubers vlogmas. I'm not sure how they do theirs, but I just do mine my own way. I, I uh, think that makes me, um, you know, some individuality here. So you all take time for yourself, do something for yourself, or you can get very resentful during the holidays. I mean, extremely. Uh, I play a little game on my phone called Best Fiends, not Best Friends, Best Fiends, and it's like a brain massage. It keeps your mind focused on one. And I think it would probably help with Alzheimer's in case I'm getting that. But they say to keep your mind active. And this game, believe me, is uh, very much uh, skill oriented. I think I'm on 900 and something. Okay. And you don't have to spend any money to play this game. All right, everyone. I'm going to say what is it? Arriva Dirci or adios, whatever. Goodbye. Hey everyone. I wish I could find a high school student who would like to spend the day with me. I could give them some clothes, some jewelry, you know, I could feed them, you know, because it would help so much during the holidays. Where are these students? I remember when I was in high school, over half of uh, the uh, high school had jobs. Some of them had two jobs. But when I wake up in the morning, I think a pack of raccoons attacked me in the middle of the night because my hair is in knots. I'm telling you, it's in knots. Why does this taste like Clorox? I don't know. Okay. I'm on the way to the town office. I love that deposit where you just do a screenshot because then your money is available sometimes the next day. I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to buy any more lightning cables from Amazon. I'm telling you, they only last maybe three or four months. It is such a waste of money. It just don't last. They don't last. They're cheap. Yeah. So one of my co-workers wants us to eat at the Hibachi bus. What do you call it? Hibachi bus? It's a bus that's parked down by the point. It has great uh, seafood and chicken. So, let's see if I can find the road to turn on. Hmm. Sometimes I just don't know who has the right of way. I guess everybody on the main road does, you know? I guess I'm on the main road. All right, bye. I got the check. I've been waiting for, for three, four, five weeks. Maybe I should open it to make sure it's correct. This is why you need to do it while you're still in the building. And if you ever give anybody money in their hand, count it out to them. Because I had this one guy who also stole my husband's diamond watch. I didn't count the money out to him. And he came back two hours later saying, oh, you shorted me. Always count money in someone's hand. Yes. This is right. And they have my name right. God dang. 
That really helps at Christmas. <laughs> all it does is pay my HOA. That's all it does. Now I gotta fill up my gas tank. Listen, girls or guys, if you're wearing gloves and you take them off and you put them in your lap, uh, when I used to go skiing at Wintergreen, my favorite pair, very expensive leather gloves, uh, fell out as I was getting out of the vehicle and I only found one in the snow. So always locate your gloves before you get out of the vehicle or when you do get out of the vehicle, look for them on the ground, right? So I've been in so many car accidents. I always wear my seatbelt. So I'm very excited that both of my children are going to probably be visiting me. I hope so. You have no, let me tell you what, you have no control over adult children. Don't think you do. They got their own agenda. They usually go to the parent who has the most money, and well, that wouldn't be me, or they go to the parent who has the most food or who's the better cook. Well, that's a, that's always been me, but I think my ex-husband's learning really how to be a really good cook, which is kind of cute. Yeah, so let's go get gas. You know, I asked a friend the other day to go out and maybe have a cup of coffee or lunch. He couldn't do it. I'm telling you, some guys really, I don't know, they have a hard time. If you have a seasonal job, because I was always in a profession where the money stopped right at Christmas and didn't start again until March or April 15th. During that time, we had to work on all of the equipment, do everything, sharpen all the saws, replace engines, transmissions, uh, repair the hydraulics on the bucket truck. This is what you did during the downtime. And I built this beautiful shop for $25,000 a pole building. The minute it was, the minute it was finished, the county appraised it at 60,000. We also spent 11,000 putting uh, concrete floor. We also turned it into an apartment and two offices and a break room. I even bought a slot machine, I think from Donald Trump's casino. And one day, God, there's a homeless person right next to me. Oh my God. I don't want to get out. Ah! This is where women get in trouble. You know what I mean? gas stations. You've got to be very aware of what's going on around you. I know he's really not a homeless person because he's in a car, but uh, he looks like one and he's bad news. You know what I'm saying? So let me see if I can find debit card. Yeah. The minute tax season is over, the seasonal people start hustling. I mean, hustling. Fast. So, as I suspected, the guy was like, he got, came back out of the store, stood behind me in a blind spot. Let me tell you girls, don't let ever anybody stand in your blind spot. I had to turn my head while I'm pumping gas to make sure what the hell he was doing. And then he wanted to strike up a conversation. I just mumbled at him. Guys, go to the god dang. Please go to the salon and get your hair cut or a barber shop. Yes. Now, there's some guys who go too often and they're, they get in this funky haircut where it's nothing on the sides and, and all long on the top. Well, that's good for you young guys who are still studs. But not you old gazers, over 50, no. Don't do that. You know, my father used to get a crew cut. What is that called with a military high top? I hated it because he had, he died with the most gorgeous head of hair. 
guys, don't cut it too short. Women like to run their hands through your hair. Don't you know that? I told this guy yesterday, I said, if you keep doing your hair, he wants to shave it bald. I said, okay, go ahead. But that'll be the last time you get laid by any woman. That's what I told him. Of course, I thought he would laugh, but he didn't. Okay. What the hell? You people got to quit talking on the phone. It's bad enough me doing YouTube videos here. But I don't stare at the camera. Yeah, they say they're going to have... Um, these cameras that can tell if you are on your phone. Yeah. Ooh, what a beautiful cranberry red car. Oh, it's a Cadillac. Oh, of course. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? I, buying a new car is like dumping money out the window. So, yeah, you girls, especially when you're at a gas station, be totally aware of what's going on around you. I hated that he came up behind me while I'm looking at the gas nozzle. And and he stands right in my blind spot. That is that is scary for a woman. You guys got to watch out for stuff like that. Don't do anything that could cause a woman to be scared or frightened. Yeah. So I did have to cancel my date. I had to cancel my date. Because um, I, I, my children come first at Christmas and my grandchildren. Even though I don't have the money to, to get them things that I used to. I can give them love. 